हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार सुप्रभात टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बेल्स डायरिया इन दिस रिपोर्ट्री वी सी फुल नेम ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट्री टाइप कंस्ट्रक्शन एडिटर प्रिफेस पार्ट रिपोर्ट्री ग्रेडिएशन ऑफ रिमेडीज इंस्ट्रक्शन सिलेक्शन ऑफ द रिमेडी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द रिमेडी होम्योपैथिक थेरापूटिक्स चैप्टर मेथड ऑफ यूजिंग दिस रिपोर्ट्री मेरिट एंड डिमेरिट सो लेटस स्टार्ट वन बाय वन पॉइंट फुल नेम ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट्री द फुल नेम ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट्री द होम्योपैथिक थेरापूटिक्स of diarrhea dysentery cholera cholera morbus cholera infantum and all other loose evacuation of the bowels this is the full name of this repertory which is asked in examination in many time in short answer question or one marks so full name is the homeopathic therapeutics of diarrhea dysentery cholera cholera morbus cholera infantum and all other loose evacuations of the bowels authors of this repertory dr james b bell md so name of this repertory bells diarrhea type of repertory this is the example of regional clinical repertory regional clinical repertory This repertory published in first edition 1869, second edition 1881, third edition 1888, fourth edition 1896. Reprint edition in 2002 and 2007 by B J N Publication, New Delhi. Construction of repertory. The book contains preface to the first and second edition by the authors. Editor's preface, preface to the third and fourth ed- editions. Introduction, homeopathic therapeutics. <coughs> Part one, the remedies and their indications. Part one of this repertory contains remedies and their indications. part 2 repertory in part 1 the remedies have been dealt in detail with respect to the following points each remedies discuss under heading types of stool aggravation amelioration before stool after stool accompaniments during convalescence gradation of remedies gradation of remedies in repertory part bold first grade italic second grade roman third grade and roman in parenthesis fourth grade introduction chapter and object of the work character character and object of the work this work is intended to apply all loose evacuations of the bowels and to describe them their aggravations and amelioration with their immediate accompaniment and general accompanying symptoms the character of a stool is used as an adjective and after it the a stool is always to be understood the semicolon stands for it under the head of aggravation and amelioration those influences are given which are affect the stool and also that which act as excited cause of the attack the concomitants are studied with much care the general accompaniments include all the symptoms that occur during the attack the symptoms given in italics are most frequently observed and also 
serve to distinguish that remedy from others the selection of remedy all who subscribe to the law of similar agree that the problem in which the problem in each case is to find the remedy whose symptoms are most closely similar to the case in hand this problem finds somewhat different solution in different <coughs> solution in different classes of mind one class thinks that the solution is found in a similitude to the pathological state if able to diagnose hyperemia hyperesthesia ulceration plastic exudation atony atrophy hypertrophy this seems them sufficient they have only to diagnose the remedy producing the similar state another class believe that those who stop here will never comprehend the true genius of homeopathy they demand the the demand for delicacy minuteness and exactness of observation in all the branches of science was never greater the selection of remedy requires to similar one corresponding to the general symptoms and one corresponding the special and characteristic symptoms suppose we find that the only remedy for given case that corresponds to the peculiar and individualizing symptom is one that has never been known to cause of cause the pathological state under which our patient suffers here we can safely infer that the remedy does possesses also general and organic symptoms of the case and that it that it will remove them together the distinguishing indications so this is about <coughs> the selection of remedy by different stalwarts on the basis of different observation administration of remedy author says that the potency might be useful and perhaps the best for the chronic and nervous affections the lower end even crude preparation would prove more satisfactory for the acute affection and particularly for the disease of the bowel the experience has been more satisfactory with the use of 12 15 30 200 and often higher potencies of our remedies administered in water and repeated every 1 to 6 hours according to the urgency of the symptoms and as soon as they decided improvement appeared if the same remedy was to be administered again it had seemed to be better in a higher potency homeopathic therapeutic the remedy and indication it starts with acetic acid up to gingiva total 141 remedies are given character of a stool aggravation before a stool during a stool and after a stool accompaniments the repertory has been divided into five parts pathological name character of a stool condition of a stool accompaniments and general accompaniments of the evacuation Patho- pathological name has cholera infantum morbus diarrhea and dysentery character of a stool albuminous bilious bloody cadaverous spelling coffee ground color condition of the stool and of accompanying symptoms aggravation in alphabetical order emulation in alphabetical order accompaniments of the evacuation before during and 
after a stool. General accompaniments of the evacuation. Chapter Mind and Mood Head, Eyes and Ears, Nose, Face, Mouth, Throat, Esophagus, Appetite, Erectation, Nausea and Vomiting, Stomach, Abdomen, Anus, Urine, Sexual Organ, Chest, Back and Neck, Extremities, Sleep, Fever, Skin, General Symptoms. There are 23 chapters in this repertory. Method of using this repertory. Any patient suffering for diarrhea, his detailed case study with respect to sensation modality concomitant, before, during, after and also general concomitant in relation to other part of the body are to be noted down. Once this is done, then case can be repertorized easily as case of other repertory. Merit. This repertory is handy and very concise. It contains rubric related to diarrheal diseases with concomitant at one place. Demerit. Number of remedies are very less and remedies in each rubric are also very less. In this way, we see about the <coughs> Bell's diarrhea. Its utility depends upon the knowledge of the digestive system, diet habit it causes, and also classification of a stool. For classification of a stool or types of a stool, you must read Bristol classification of a stool. Bristol classified or divided types of a stool or all stools in seven groups. So thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe and